Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Dylan Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In this video, what we're going to be discussing is if you have not heard the news already, Jim Harbaugh has been signed to be the new head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers. This news came out a little bit in the evening. I was a little bit shocked. I was watching Sports Center, and all of a sudden it was like breaking news, and Jim Harbaugh's face was right there. He became the head coach. He's going to be signing a five year contract with the Chargers to become the new head coach. And what I wanted to do in this video is kind of talk about the news, talk about the contract, talk about the players the Chargers already have, and how this is going to work out for the Chargers, and do I think the Chargers are going to be either regretting or appreciating this co head coaching hire in the next five years of could they possibly win a Super Bowl by then? Are they not going to win a Super Bowl? Could this be a boom or bust? All that sorts of stuff. So without further ado, we're going to get straight on into this. If you're going to enjoy, as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, like I said in the intro, it's going to be a five-year deal. The actual number of like annual salary per year has not been released yet at the time of recording this. But first up, I kind of want to talk about some of the people that have been saying Jim Harbaugh is not going to do good in the NFL. He's going to be a bum. He's the Chargers are going to end up firing with him in three years. I want to go ahead and prove a point here. Wherever he goes, he wins. And that's not a lie. You look at the team play at the places he's been going all the way back whenever he first started coaching i believe san diego san diego state the university he was a winner there then in stanford he was a winner stanford was bums beforehand then he got there they were winners went to san francisco they were not doing too well before he got there he got there took him to a super bowl he leaves the 49ers he goes back to college everybody said okay what's he doing this for well he's a michigan guy he was a michigan alumni he's trying to bring his university some wins national title what did he do beat ohio state a couple times won an Astro title, he was a winner there. And now he's going to a Los Angeles team that has been 500 to below for the past couple years within Justin Herbert's reign. And with Justin Herbert there, everybody's been questioning, saying he's a really good quarterback, but this defense has been up and down. The offense, it seems like they're always kind of running through Herbert, but something always goes wrong in these games that makes them lose winnable games. Now, one of the quotes that Harbaugh put out, I'll put it on screen so you guys can see it. It says here that he said during his uh, like presser of like taking the job is, quote, the only job you start at the top is digging a hole. So we know we've got to earn our way. Harbaugh said in a statement, quote, this organization is putting in the work, investing capital, building infrastructure, and doing everything within its power to win. Great effort, equal great results, and we're just getting started, quote. Now let's talk about why he picked the Chargers, because as we know, he could have been the Chargers head coach, the Falcons have called him, the Panthers have called him in the past. He's had the Vikings, the Broncos last year called him up, had some interviews with him. He could have went to any of those teams, but he decided not to do it. He decided back with the Vikings. He decided to come back, beat Ohio State again, Big Ten title game, go back to the playoffs again. And then last year, he had the opportunity to go coach for the Chargers before Sean Payton got the job. He could have then went to coach Russell Wilson in the Chargers, or Broncos. He decided to go back to college, and it basically paid off because he was able to win a national title. But the little nugget in the news was, I believe he actually was the Chargers quarterback back in 1999 to 2000. So he was, he's basically a bolt already. So he's getting able to, to already now coach and win a national title for his college alumni, and he's going to have a chance to possibly try and go get his former NFL team back to the playoffs and possibly maybe win them a title. Now, I want to point out why he took this job. Like I said, he had multiple places he could have went, but why would he take the charge? Number one, like I already said, the quarterback. He's got Justin Herbert pretty much locked in. He's got, he's on like a six-year, $250-something million contract. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But like I said, he's got the quarterback already set up. The running back is there in Eckler. He's got receivers and Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. He can always add more of different pieces whenever it comes to like running backs and receivers in the draft if he wants to in free agency. The offensive line is actually playing, I believe, top 10 level. He could They could add some offensive linemen here in the free agency in the draft in the offseason. But I think the offensive line is still playing pretty good. Their big problem is the defense. The defense with Brandon Staley, we thought Brandon Staley, defensive coordinator back when he was with the Rams. Oh my God, he's going to do so many great things with the Chargers. And the defense never really materialized. He had so many players from Joey Bosa to Cleo Mack, JC Jackson, the corner from the Patriots, came over, had that big payout in free agency. Everybody was like, oh my God, the Chargers are loaded. And JC Jackson didn't play well with the Chargers. Then he went back to New England and he played really well over there. The weird thing with this Chargers team is every single year when you look at them on paper, they seem like a really, really, really good team. But then when you watch them play, things go wrong. The offense can be here, but the defense is always down here. But when the defense is up here, the offense is down here. They can never both be at the top. Now, I do want to point out last season, that one's kind of a forgotten scene because obviously Brandon Staley did awful with the defense and Justin Herbert got injured midway point of the season. So he was out basically half the entire season. So that last season, I don't think Chargers fans even want to think about it. Now, the one big thing for the Chargers is they are actually bringing Michigan's defensive coordinator along with them to be the DC with the Chargers, I believe. Some people said this is going to be stupid. Like, why would you bring a college DC to be an NFL DC? Last time I checked, that's kind of how you work your way up. You go from college and you work your way up to NFL. Sometimes usually just a position coach, but... If it works out and this DC goes to the Chargers and transforms this defense into a top 10 defense, y'all going to be running your mouth all now. But when that, if that happens, 
y'all gonna be a little bit quiet. So like I said, when I look at this roster, I think it's great. Quarterbacks are there, running backs are there, receivers are there, offensive lines there. The D line with Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa is already playing exceptionally well. The secondary for the Chargers is what needs to really pick up the pace. If that secondary can play better and they can just, for the love of God, get better at tackling, this team would be a, so damn good. Two more things I want to point out. Number one, I'm an Ohio State fan. So you would think, oh, I'm going to be hating Jim Harbaugh. I hope he just does nothing good in the NFL. He's going to suck, win, lose every single game. No, I'm, in a way, I hope he does good. Like, I think he's going to do good for the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to be doing good. Could it be because I hate the Chiefs and I wish somebody else would win that division besides the Chiefs? A little bit. But then again, I do think Jim Harbaugh can do some great things with the Chargers and with his resume, his past resume of always creating winners. I think he can make the Chargers really good with the fact of that they were always good, at least 7-10, 8-9, and 10, eight and nine, with basically dead head coaches. I mean, think back to the days of Anthony DeLynn whenever they were playing, had him as a coach. They went to the division around the playoffs. I know, I now I know that wasn't with Justin Herbert, the quarterback. That was with Phillip Rivers. But I'm just saying, this team has always been somewhat good. And even with Brandon Staley, they've always been kind of average. Now, imagine if Jim Harbaugh is now the coach. This team can be elite. So I'm going to wrap it up with this. I think the Chargers, number one, like I said, they're going to be good. They're going to be a really good team this year. Will they win the division? I don't know, but I think they can go 11 and 6. 11 and 6 should be like the the average of what you're going for. 10 and 7 is the floor. 12 and 5, 13 and 4 should be like up around where your ceiling, where you should be aiming for. Number two, you got to get this defense fixed. If Jim Harbaugh can go in there and get this defense fixed, I think they will be able to stay in every single game. And if you have Justin Herbert, which brings me to my third point, Justin Herbert, if you can get your team to a position to where he can take over at the last drive, you guys can very well win almost every single game. It's just going to come down to keeping you in that spot. And then in the last moment, don't fucking choke. Brandon Staley was also very good at that. He had this way of he choked in the biggest moment because it was stupid coaching mistakes, clock management, not knowing when to call your timeout, mismanaging the game towards the end of the game, going forward on fourth down almost every single fucking fourth down, even if you were way back at your one yard line. You need to know when to go for it and when to not go for it. And I think Harbaugh is good at that in some ways. But I ultimately think this is the good hire and I think the Chargers made a good thing to do this. And I mean, I wish Harbaugh good luck. But without further ado, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did go and enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you stayed to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And you want to leave your opinion on the whole Jim Harbaugh hire down in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you think it's a good hire, bad hire, would you, if you're a Chargers fan, do you like this hire, not like this hire? Leave your opinion down in the comments. If you're a fan of the content that I do post here and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Dylan Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.